things are different now. We're very, very sad. But tomorrow we have decided to do something that might help, hopefully. And we would like to take you guys along with us. So, Mabu High Squad, tomorrow, RJ and I are going to... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. And subscribe. San Juan Batangas. RJ and I are getting away, along with Cypher. And this is a trip that was planned a while ago. We had looked for a place and reserved through Airbnb. Um, a place that was secluded, that was private, that would allow both dogs and birds. RJ spent days looking for this place because some places would allow Cypher but wouldn't allow Ligaya. And our intention was to bring Ligaya with us so it could be a getaway with me, RJ, and Cypher and Ligaya out in the province, out in the countryside here in the Philippines. But then sadly, Ligaya passed away, right? Um, so now it'll just be me, RJ, and Cypher. We are looking forward to this getaway because honestly, today has been torture. Our first day here in the house, full day without Ligaya, and it's so hard. We figured, okay, should we cancel this Airbnb that we already reserved? And then RJ and I thought about it. We're like, no, you know what? Let's go. Let's just go there for several days, not think about work, and just like grieve out there, like out in the open where it's peaceful and quiet. So that's where we're going. Um, and we were really excited to show you this place because it's actually got a lot of history to it and a unique story. So that's gonna be cool. I understand there are possibly animals out there too. Um, and I just think it'll be a good getaway for our little group here and uh, to take you guys along as well. This is actually our second trip of the entire year, um, you know, since this pandemic hit. RJ and I have been indoors the whole year. We went out for the first time like three weeks ago and that was fun. And we realized, you know what, we should be going out a bit more, try to like step out into the world a bit more. Of course, all safe. We're definitely gonna get tested, have social distancing, wear the masks, all of that. Um, but yeah, I think this getaway is really needed. We can meditate, we can think about Ligaya, celebrate her life and also grieve and mourn there. Hey guys, <laughs> here in the ant room. Um, RJ and I are having wine tonight. And as I mentioned before, these vlogs are filmed in advance. So it's currently Saturday and the vlog just went up announcing Ligaya's passing. And we thought that, well, I thought that I was done the crying phase, but as soon as I saw all your messages, thank you so much. It's, it's so weird because, okay, I've had many pets, right? Lots. Almost every pet under the sun. I've had dogs pass, like ever since I was a kid. I'm, I've, I've been sort of not used to animals dying, but like I became aware of pets reaching the end of their lives at a young age. So when pets pass away, I feel sadness, but I never cry for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's like a depression that I feel, but it never manifests to tears. Sometimes a little, but for some reason, like I was different. It's, it's so different. But what I wanted to say was, thank you guys so much for the support. I'm seeing it now. RJ and I are seeing it now. RJ and I are both crying. We miss her so much. Still. And you guys are so awesome. You guys are so, so awesome. Thank you. It somehow helps us to know that you guys are also mourning with us. You know what I mean? 
it's it's a bird you know what I, it's so funny it's it's a bird but like she was our child I need to drink more wine, clearly. Uh, anyways, wanted to thank you guys for the support. Tomorrow's a new day. Ligaya would have wanted us to go out and have fun to where we're going, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go be our life loving selves and go see what's out there and enjoy life and be our positive selves. But I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for Margie and I for all your support and love. It means a lot to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, Mabu High Squad. It's a new day. Mm -hmm. And ooh, so excited um, to get out. Apologies for last night. Um, <laughs> I've never cried so much, like like online or publicly ever. I've never cried so much in years, actually. Anyways, it's a new day and life is going on, and I can't wait. And I'm excited for this getaway. Um, and RJ is too. We've packed everything. Usually these getaways are like two nights, but because RJ and I have done zero traveling this year. We decide, and like, especially with recent turn of events, um, RJ and I have decided, hey, let's like spend some extra time there. Personally, I wish we could stay there for a week, but um, we're gonna be staying there for four days. So we have packed so much. Look at this. RJ has spent the past two days preparing and packing everything. For our last getaway, uh, some three weeks ago, we completely forgot so many things. So RJ made sure to make a detailed list and because we're there for extra long time, we're bringing everything. Guys, guess what? We're even bringing Cypher coffee, yes! Because I'm gonna be drinking Cypher coffee every morning. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. Got it all packed. All the essentials. And to celebrate the wonderful bird. Gonna be drinking it in the Legaya mug. Yes. All right. Cheers. Guys, look at this Amazon sword leaf. Seriously. It's massive and it's just like growing right out of the tank. That is so cool. Like, look at the size of it too. Beautiful. Very beautiful. On the road again. Yes. Guys, we're in the Mabuhai bus. Yes. There's RJ, and there's our little prince Saif in his um, captain seat. Just relax, Saif. We'll be there in like two and a half hours. <laughs> wow, guys, no traffic. It's a Sunday. It's pretty clear. I love the trees out here in the countryside. Gorgeous, gorgeous native trees. Oh guys, we're here. Oh my. This place looks interesting. Wow, it's like totally secluded. So we're looking for a place called Bahai Trinidad, but these people don't know where it is, so we're assuming it's somewhere down there. How interesting, super secluded. Saif, we're here. Yes. Gosh, beautiful flowers. We're gonna ask this guy here. Oh, it's up ahead. It looks like people live here as well. Salamat! 
Oh, dragon fruit, guys. You know dragon fruit? It, it's a cactus. Delicious, delicious fruit. RJ and I were talking, we were saying that us staying here for the next few days will be a good, I guess, teaser of what life will be like in the province when we move. Man, the Mabuhay bus can hardly fit down this road. It's like we're dirt roading it now. Whoa. Oh my. This is so cool, guys. Sticks and twigs are like scratching along the van. The van. It's too big. It's okay, Sipes. It's just, it's just the trees. The trees are welcoming us. Beautiful plants here, really. Wow. Oh, there's papaya. All right. Okay, we see it, but Koyo Roman is going to see if we can fit further. These residents here are looking at us. They're like, who are these people? See that? What is this van doing here? <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my gosh, Mabuhay Squad. This is so beautiful. <gasps> RJ picked an amazing spot. Oh my gosh, look at the house. Mabuhay Squad, check out this place. 